Happy Friday. I went back and forth on whether or not I wanted to do a Friday message this morning, simply for transparency if I had the energy. Um, and I am going to come on here just for a minute because there have been some things that have been on my mind, most importantly on the importance of how actions do speak louder than words. And I've been looking at the actions of many parents and wondering if they realize how it's coming across. Uh, it's been told that parent involvement is super important. I, for one, know that and preach that and do it actively, as you've seen in previous posts of me being involved in my own children's um, education, being on the PTA, being a room parent, working with the teacher. And so I've been wondering if the actions of parents uh, are come to the realization that their goals for that partnership are somewhat unrealistic. And what I mean by that is there have been messages going around saying, you should email your child's teacher at the first of the year, asking them for an entire list of the year of what is going to be taught in the classroom, including articles and videos and all kinds of things that teachers would use. And so I wonder if they, they realize if they do send that letter to teachers, if they realize how unrealistic that ask is and how it doesn't fortify or strengthen the parent-teacher relationship. It kind of intimidates and bullies and sets the teacher off in a tone that shows that your actions are not pure and honest in the fact that you want to partner with educators. And I can say that from both sides because I am a parent still of school age children that are in my district that I work in and attend schools. And so I sent an email off to my child's teacher after the first day of school uh, telling her, thank you for setting such a wonderful tone for my daughter. She's been nervous about starting school this year. And the first day was so, so wonderful and she was so excited. And thank you. And if there's anything that I can do to help her, to let me know. And then I had an ask if I could have a fidget toy, a uh, fidget, a device uh, that can be brought into school. And, and that was my email. And and that's all. And then I showed up last night to back to school night. I went to back to school night. Now, did I need to go back to school night? No, I literally have a badge that could get me into the school, but I went as a parent and I went to visit my child's teacher. I signed up for the PTA. I uh, talked with the principal as a mom and, and you know, we, we talked a little bit. My daughter wanted to sign up for choir and I was able to do that. And it was great for her to show me her desk and for me to listen to the procedures of what the teacher was gonna do for the year, which is quite different because I didn't have to email her. And so as I was sitting at back to school night and there were only 10 parents in a classroom with 30 students, I thought, well, I hope more parents show up because I was in the second rotation and there's three rotations. And so I thought, well, maybe the rest of the parents will show up because the information she gave in that 10 minutes was her expectations for the year, the kind of teacher she was. I could feel the warmth in her presentation, uh, what homework was going to look like, what topics were going to be covered in class. All of those things were covered at back to school night, yet the room was half empty. And so the actions speak louder than words. I was at my office the other day and there was a PTA meeting and I thought, oh, they're going to be in this room. They're going to fill that room. They're, it's going to be standing room only because so many parents want to be involved in their children's education, as I've heard all summer. And they want to make sure that they take back that child's education, which they never lost, by the way. And I walked into the room. It was half empty. And so for me, that says a lot, right? I hear a lot of things. I, I receive a lot of words. And I'm gonna just be honest, I don't see the actions coming forward. I hear a lot of anger, I hear a lot of frustration and, and that's to be understood, but then what are you doing as a parent to back that up? And so I just challenge you to reflect and look at how you're being involved. Did you sign up like I did to be part of the room parent uh, group? I'm, I'm just as busy as the next person, but being involved in your child's education and how you treat that teacher and how you treat the education speaks volumes to your student. 
And so I just would encourage you that as you're taking back your child's education, that you work with the professionals that are also being a part of your child's life and um, have a positive, realistic expectation and communication moving forward. And if you need tips on what that looks like, please feel free to inbox me. Please make it a great weekend. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon. And those are just some Friday facts.